Emperor Chorus Tap Tempo. <laughs> Emperor Chorus Open. Here's the Emperor Chorus with Vibrato. The last chorus I'm going to give you was going to be the Emperor Chorus Open 2. Tony, this is Jordan Lynn's channel or what? <laughs> Bitch, this is like Guitar Tones video right now. Bitch. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and begin. Everybody has this. We're going to start with a natural clean uh, uh, amp. A natural clean amp. So whatever cleanest amp you have, we're going to go with that one, okay? So in my case, using the Boss FX, I have an amp that's called Natural Clean. All right? That concludes. <laughs> all right, let's get through this video fast. All right, it's very easy. All right, so let's go ahead. I may be shouting only because the camera is right there, and it's the way it is. I don't have a a, 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 a microphone. I don't have a microphone. I'm not set up that way, girl. I'm not set up that way. All right. So we're gonna pick a natural clean amp. The gain. You have gain, Tony. Yes, I have gain for these clean tones. Uh, I'm gonna put it at 44. Okay. And again, at the very end of the video, you're going to see all my little snapshots of all my settings. Okay, so stick around. I'm going to show you the secrets. All right. Uh, so the gain, I have it at 44. And my effect level for this, I have it at 82. I'm looking at my notes. We're reverse engineering. You're going to save this tone five different times. You want to rename them any way you like. That's up to you. I have my names. And I'll give you the names I chose to save them under. But if you want to change them, they remind you of another song or whatever, change them. That's up to you, okay? And uh, again, feel free to tweak them. All right, so again, the amp is a natural clean amp. Gain at 44. The effect level for that, I have it at 82. All right, next in the chain, bass, I have it at 56. The middle, I have it at 46. We're going to go by fast on this, okay? And we're going to spend time on the chorus. Uh, the treble, I have it at 70. And I'll play it before and after. And the presence, I have it at 70. Let's go ahead and play it right now. This is my John Lennon guitar, Beatles guitar. Look, remember uh, the video Let It Be? You know the video Let It Be with the Beatles, 1970, I believe, at the rooftop? This is what John Lennon played, bitch. This is what he played. Look it up. Look it up. This is exactly. I knocked, I went to uh, Yoko's house. I go, Yoko, Yoko, bitch, give me that guitar, bitch. <laughs> I pried it out of her hand, bitch. And I, I, I'm making this video. I go, Yoko, I'll return the guitar after I make my video. So, all right. So that's what happens. <laughs> Now, uh, next in my chain, I have Bright. I have that off, so if you don't have it, it's totally fine. Teacup, I have this at zero. If you don't have this as well, it's not going to affect your tone. It just happens to be in my parameters, right? Uh, do I have a compressor? I do have a compressor on this, so we're going to go ahead and turn the compressor on. Let me turn it off right now so you can hear before and after. 
Uh, the compressor settings, I have the attack at 80. Um, the attack, I have it at 10. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The sustain, I have it at 80. The attack, I have it at 10. The tone, I have it at 0. And the effect level for the compressor, I have it at 40. Alright, here is before and after with no compressor. Alright, let's turn on the compressor. Sounds pretty good, right? Okay. Next, uh, overdrive distortion. Ah. Alright, so next in the chain. Uh, overdrive distortion. We do not have any overdrive distortion for this uh, tone, obviously. We'll get rid of that noise. Hold on. So we'll do that. Uh, next, we're going to go to the noise gate. I'm going to put my noise gate at 54. Now, the beauty about this tone, there's no EQ. Many of you may not have EQ, you don't need EQ for this, so we're going to not use EQ. So let's go ahead and turn the EQ off, we don't need it. Alright, three more parameters and we're done. And then we're going to play with the chorus, right? So, for the Emperor chorus, this, oh I'm sorry, this first tone is called Emperor you know, I am the Emperor, Emperor Chorus. It's modeled after the Emperor Chorus. That's what this first tone is, tone number one. You'll see it on the screen. This is Emperor Chorus tone. All right, we're gonna now go into the uh, modulations. In this case, we're gonna go with Chorus. I currently have it off. Chorus, I'm gonna put it on my highest stereo mode, which for me is ST2. So whatever highest stereo mode you have, go ahead and put it there. Rate, I'm gonna put my rate at 30. My depth, I'm going to put it at 80. And my effect level, I'm going to put it at 100. This is for the chorus. Before and after. Alright, let's turn the chorus on. Right, but we need to make it sound ambient, fill the room, fill the space. You want to play in the club, whatever you you know, touring, whatever you want to make it sound full and good. Let's add some delay and root and uh, delay and reverb, okay? And then we're going to complete this tone and then we're going to add the other chorus effects. All right, so we're done with the chorus for Emperor Chorus. Let's go into the delay. Now, delay, I have this at 400 milliseconds. My feedback, I have it at 28, which uh, also, um, if you don't have my exact numbered parameters, uh, my 28 is at 10 o'clock. So when you see my screen at the very end of the video, if you don't have my numbering, don't be alarmed. Just look at the uh, knob positioning as you would a clock. So my 28 here is at 10 o'clock. All right. So don't be alarmed. All right. So we're in delay. 400 milliseconds for delay. Feedback at 28. Uh, my high cut is at 5.00 and my effect level for the delay is at 82 and for this case it would be by 82 would be at 2 o'clock all right let's put uh, before the delay all right so far we got the chorus right we just dialed in the delay let's turn on the delay For this uh, reverb, I have mine at room. 
Now many of you may have like a gazillion types of uh, reverb types. Cutter Hall, uh, Room, whatever you may have. I, I've seen them. Fractal Audio's got a bunch of them. Line 6 Helix has a bunch of reverbs. So play with the reverbs, alright? I happen to have only five to choose from. You may have like 20 or 30 to choose from. So whatever best reverb suits your needs, use it, okay? Uh, I'm using Room, so play with it. Uh, lock this in the way it is, and then go ahead and tweak it and write over it and change this or that, whatever you want to, right? So my reverb time, I have it at 1.7. We're going to have a lot of fun with this video because we're almost done with the template. Now we're just going to play with the chorus. Period. <laughs> High cut, I have it at 2.00. Now, now turn that shit off and watch me walk away. See my finger? Look, it's like a gun, right? Let me turn sideways. Now turn that shit off and watch me walk away. <laughs> So instead of going pow, 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 you just flip it sideways and then you just go, go make your bed. Go do as I say. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, the high, <laughs> the high cut for the uh, reverb is at 2.00 and the effect level for the reverb I have it at 50. Alright, here we go. Without the reverb, remember? Oops. guitar and the specs and all that stuff I'll be happy to do it otherwise you just get to admire it in this video tell me where you get all the guitars um, that's none of your business that's none of your, when you guys watch my video I make my coin I make I'm making my coin and that coin allows me to get these <laughs> so every time you click my video or give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up that's called engagement whenever you engage my videos I get my coin which lets me acquire these guitars <laughs> Alright, so that was it, alright? So the reverb again, uh, is that room, reverb time 1.7, high cut 2.00, and the effect level at 50. Uh, it's off right now, right? Alright, let's turn the reverb on, and we're going to be done with Emperor Chorus Tone Number 1. Let's turn it on, here's what it sounds like, the finished product. which is awesome for open string patterns, open string picking and so forth, but it's just great for all around a good chorus to have. So this wraps up Emperor Chorus Tone Number One, all right? All right, now we're gonna keep everything the same. Now we're gonna play with the chorus to give me the other four tones, all right? Well, let's give you the, the blah. Let's give you the second tone, the vibrato tone. Keeping everything the way it is, go back to your chorus. Leave your reverb the same, leave your uh, delay the same, leave everything the same, just the chorus we're going to mess around with. Alright, so for the Emperor Chorus Vibrato, that's how I call it, Emperor Chorus Vibrato, we're going to put the chorus at still the highest stereo mode, ST2. Uh, now the rate is going to go from 30 to 48, so we're going to change the rate to 48. And the depth, we're going to put it at 68. Remember, we're already on tone number two. And the effect level, we're going to put it at 80. All right, so for the Emperor Chorus Vibrato, tone number two, everything stays the same. The chorus, still stereo mode, rate is at 48, depth at 68, and the effect level at 80 sounds like this. <laughs>
Emperor Chorus Vibrato. We're done with tone number two. Let's go to tone number three, which is the Emperor Chorus Tap Tempo. I should come up with a better name for it, but that's the name I have. Emperor Chorus Tap Tempo. All right, now we're still in the same chorus mode. Keep it at stereo mode. Uh, let's change the rate to 70. Again, you're going to have all these uh, snapshots at the very end of the video. So if you get lost, just rewind the video, okay? Um, the rate, I'm sorry, yeah, so the rate is at 70. The depth is at 52. And my effect level now is at uh, 70. All right, this is tone number three called Emperor Chorus Tap Tempo. <laughs> a certain, if you, let's say you don't like tap tempo, you don't have to have it. I'm just giving you these for free. Pick and choose. You may just like one of these tones. You may get, you may like three of these five tones. You may like four of the five. Um, so they're yours, all right? Just play with it. Play with the, uh, the chorus. The third uh, one, to, the fourth now, the fourth tone, these are one of my, my favorite in order is the Emperor Chorus, the Emperor Chorus Open, and the Emperor Chorus Number Two followed by vibrato and then tap tempo. Those would be my fourth and fifth. So if I have to pick and choose, my favorite of these five would be the Emperor Chorus, the very first tone, the Emperor Open, which I'm gonna give you right now, and then the Emperor Open Two. I love them, all right? Let's give you now uh, tone number four, which is uh, Emperor Chorus Open, all right? Everything stays the same. Go back to your chorus. <laughs> You're still in the high stereo mode. Now the rate, we're gonna drop that to number 12 on the rate, all right? This tone sounds really, really good. Uh, oh yeah, and then the effect level, we're gonna go ahead and put it at 80. All right, so here's Emperor Chorus uh, open, stereo chorus, rate at 12, depth at uh, I'm sorry, depth is going to be at, uh, sorry, depth is at 100, and the effect level is at 80, so I take that back, okay? Sorry about that. Rate is at 12, depth is at 100, and the effect level is at 80. <laughs> Again, so the Emperor Open has a stereo chorus, the rate at 12, the depth at 100, and the effect level at 80. <laughs> very very nice now for the last tone is the emperor chorus open two this is the very last tone and again we're still in the chorus keep your chorus in stereo mode we're going to change the rate from 12 to 4 all right put that to 4 the depth is at 100 and the effect level is at 100 so 
Emperor Open had the rate at 12, right? It's a noticeable difference from 12 to 4. And here it is. <laughs> I just gave you five chorus distinct five five distinct chorus tones in one video. Uh, in my order of preference, I like Emperor Chorus, Emperor Chorus Open, Emperor Chorus Open Two, then the vibrato, then the tap tempo. I like them all. That's why I saved them all. I have all five tones on my E band because I use them and they're just they're nice to have. And I want to start fishing for a chorus. I know I have the chorus that I need. Uh, it's just really good. They're robust. They're lush. They're uh, great for jazz. Great for any type of melody, casual strumming, whatever. Open pattern, nice leads, and so forth. So those are my five distinct chorus tones. I hope you like them. I hope they help. Again, nothing set in stone. You want to tweak the chorus, tweak the reverb and the delay, and so forth. By all means, go for it. These tones are free. They're they're yours. I just wanted to share them with you because. It's always good to share uh, tones. So I just gave you five tones in this video. Uh, hope, thanks so much for watching this video and uh, for supporting my channel. All the new subscribers, welcome. Uh, I'm cracking up in tone videos as promised. I still have those requests I'm working on, but these were already in my uh, to-do list for uploads. And um, I'm getting a lot of requests lately for uh, people that are buying E-bands or people that have the Fractals and the Line 6 Helix. Tony, you have other guitar tone patches you can upload. Tony, can you send me your tone patches? Bitch, all my tone patches are up there for free. <laughs> uh, my tones are very easy to dial in. And so you'll see that. All right. So without any more talking, thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope you like the tones. Uh, play with them. Again, make it your own. I love these tones. So I just gave you five. And they're yours to play with or whatever. All right. So <laughs>